boys and girls, it's Miss Olson. I'm here at Evergreen today, and I'm going to work on a couple of reading strategies with you. Uh, sure feels lonely here without you, but I thought I'd come here and teach you a lesson about these reading strategies. The first one we're gonna learn about today is Stretchy Snake. And Stretchy Snake's rule is stretch it out. So when you're learning to read, you are practicing saying all the sounds in the words. And um, Stretchy Snake says that we should stretch the word out slowly. So we're gonna say each sound slowly, and then we're gonna put the sounds together. We're gonna look all the way through the word. Okay, ready to try it? Let's go. So the first word that we are going to sound out is this one. So, Stretchy snake, snake says, stretch the word out, stretch the sounds out slowly. St, ep, then put it together, step. That word is step. Do you see how Stretchy Snake says, stretch it out, and then put the sounds together? The next word, we're going to use the um, Stretchy Snake strategy for, my A kind of funky, but that's okay. Um, we're going to sound out this word. Ready? K -r -ab. Now we're going to put the sounds together. Crab. That word is crab. Good reading. So Stretchy Snake says to stretch out the word slowly and then put the sounds together. The next thing we're going to work on is another strategy. And that strategy is called Flippy Dolphin. And Flippy Dolphin says, try the vowel's other sound. So if you're reading along and you sound out a word and it doesn't make any sense, then Flippy Dolphin says, go back and reread that word and try the other sound that the vowel makes. So the vowels, remember, are A, E, I, O, and U. We've been working the last few weeks about learning the long vowel sounds that are um, usually followed by the silent helper E or the bossy E. So, um, but if you don't have that silent helper E or the bossy E, then you need to have some other kinds of reading strategies. Flippy dolphin. So um, every one of the vowels has at least two sounds, the short vowel sound and the long vowel sound. So he says, flip the vowel, flip the vowel. Try the long and the short sound. So if we're reading a word and we use the short vowel sound, then we go back and reread and try the long vowel sound if it doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's practice. We're gonna read a sentence. So some of these words we already know because they're sight words. They're both letters and words. This is one of those. It's the letter I, and it's also a word. I, yep, that's right, C, A. This word, I might be able to normally look at a picture clue in a book if I was reading a book to help me figure out what this word is, but I don't have any picture clues, so I'm, I'm just going to sound it out. And so let's go. U, I, A, N. U, I, A, N. Hmm, doesn't make much sense. I can't figure out what the word is, so I'm gonna flip it and use flippy dolphin. So I'm gonna use the long vowel sound because I used the short vowel sound for I the first time. Ready? O, I, on, lion. It's lion. So if there was a picture, we would probably see a lion, right? And it would help me understand that that word, even though I'm trying to sound it out with the short vowel sound, it doesn't make any sense. I could figure out that it's probably lion. But if you don't have any picture clues, then you can use the fl flippy dolphin strategy. Happy reading. See you next week.